Hello friends, in today's Core Basics coding tutorial, we are going to talk about multithreading in Python. Before we begin with Python multithreading, let's first understand in general what multithreading means when it comes to computer science. Multithreading I often explain uh, by giving the example of a busy mom. Uh, as you see in this picture, busy mom usually juggles between multiple tasks. So she might be cooking food and at the same time she has to take care of baby and she often gets a phone call and she needs to handle that as well in parallel. So as you see on the right hand side, mom starts by cooking food and at some point you see in this in the green line she has to switch to another task of taking care of uh, a baby and then at some point here uh, she gets a phone call so she needs to handle that as well so in this time period so this vertical slice indicates the time progression in this time period she's cooking food taking care of baby and uh, handling phone call so each of these lines are individual tasks that mom is handling and when it comes to programming they are called threads so mom is handling three threads cooking food taking care of baby and handling phone call hence mom is doing multi threading similarly python program can handle multiple tasks at the same time and that program uh, is called to be doing multi-threading. Okay, so we are going to work on a problem where I have an array, a list of numbers, and I want to calculate the square of each of these numbers, and I want to print those numbers. At the same time, I want to calculate cube of each of these numbers and print them. So I have to handle two tasks basically, calculating squares and calculating numbers cal calculating cubes of these numbers in the array uh, so it's simple to write two functions so what I have written here is I have written the first function which is calculating square which takes numbers array as an input I go through the array and I print the square here now I'm introducing a time sleep so this time module what it does is it waits for 0.2 second before printing this number and I will tell you in a bit why I'm doing this but for now just assume that this goes through an input array and it just prints square of each of these numbers this function is exactly similar to this function except that instead of square it is calculating the cube of those numbers okay and I'm calculating I'm calling calculating square and calculate cube one by one and then I'm printing done when I'm done and I'm also doing something else which is uh, calculating how much time it took to execute these two functions okay so it's fairly simple program uh, so let let me just run it Okay, so as you can see here, I have this array 2389. It first printed 496481, uh, the square of these numbers and the cube of these numbers. So cube of two is two into two into two is eight. Three cube is 27 because three into three, nine into three uh, is equal to 27 and so on. Overall, this program took 1.6 second. Let me execute one more, one more time again it took 1.6 second so not down this number this program is taking 1.6 second to execute okay now the reason I introduced this time uh, delay here is that just to demonstrate in which scenario multi-threading could be useful here you are first calculating square and then calculating cube now when you are waiting here for uh, what's happening is your CPU is idle see your CPU is doing nothing okay now you might have this scenario when let's say in real life you might be calling a web service or you might be waiting for a packet on your network socket so at that time you're waiting and your CPU in your PC is not doing anything multi-threading tries to utilize this idle time 
and during that idle time you want to give CPU some work okay so let's use multi threading and improve this number so it's taking right now 1.6 second using multi threading we will improve the time will execute this program much faster okay so first thing you need to do in order to use multi threading is import threading module okay this is a standard python module used for multi threading and now instead of calling these fun functions directly so i'm going to remove these and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a thread so I'll say threading uh, threading dot thread okay and target equal to so your target is your worker function the, the task simple task that you want to execute this is similar to mom taking a phone call for example or or hand, handling baby so in our case that task is calculating square okay so you mention your function name after target and in your args you will mention your argument so here your arguments is your array so this is a tuple that you're passing as an input so if you have multiple arguments to this function you will pass multiple arguments here okay so this way you created the first thread and now I'm going to create the second thread and here my function will be calculating cube okay so by doing this I'm creating these two threads t1 and t2 now I just created threads two threads and I need to uh, start them now so I will say t1 dot start then t2 dot start so this will execute these two programs in parallel okay and then you need to say t1 dot join t2 dot join what join will do is it will wait until these this thread is done basically t1 dot join means now wait here until T1 is done. T1 meaning until this uh, squ this calculate square function is finished, and then you are, you want to print done. Okay, so let's execute this program now. Nice. So as you see here, now what it is doing is it is not executing these two functions in a sequence. So first, it's, it calculated a square. Okay. So it calculated a square here then it went into this loop one more time and it and then it started waiting so while it was waiting here the other function was also executing in parallel so meanwhile it printed cube so you see cube here so that's why you see square and cube because there are two tasks being performed simultaneously in parallel okay so whichever task gets done you get the output of that here and you see that now our program is taking half the time compared to what it used to take before so here is 0.8 if you recall previously it used to take 1.6 second now it is taking only 0.8 second okay now let's compare this with our busy mom example so here the main program started so this red line is called the main thread then at some point we started calculating square of numbers so which is this green line so we just spawned a new thread which is this green color line so that we did by doing this t1 dot start so when you say t1 dot start what you're doing is you are just basically start starting execution of this new thread then at some point you started calculating cube of numbers which is this t2 dot start and then when the they are done they come back to this main program so these points here are basically t1 dot join and t2 dot join join means 
you are done with your individual thread now the execution joins back into your main program your main thread okay so again comparing it with bzmom is kind of very similar thing that your program doing okay so multi threading is typically used when as I explained previously when your cpu is idle it is waiting for something i didn't have a sophisticated example that's why i introduce artificial delay but in in your real life you will be calling let's say web service web service might take few seconds to give you back the response during that time if you want to optimize the performance of your program and make your make your cpu do some work then you can definitely use uh, multi threading now multi threading in python is little special because there is something called a gro global interpreter lock that uh, prevents you from using the true benefits of multi threading but in any case whenever you are waiting and when you are doing io bound operation you can still use multi threading so go ahead and use it and if you want to do real cpu in in intensive work and you're not waiting for uh, an io type operation then you need to use multi processing so all those are little advanced concepts which we will cover in future videos okay so that was a sweet uh, little introduction on multi threading thank you very much for watching